what we mean by satsang in Santmat. A passage from Baba Ram Singh. On satsang or true spiritual association. Santji used to often say, leave a hundred things that you have to do and sit for satsang and leave a thousand things that you have to do but sit for meditation. He used to say this because this is the true work that we have to do. This is the true work for which we have been given this precious human form. Santji used to say, just like it is very important for us to eat food every day, it's important for us to eat food and drink water to live for this body. That way, it is equally important for us to provide satsang and meditation for the soul. Satsang is the water for the soul and food is the meditation. Spoken by Baba Ram Singh at a satsang gathering, a satsang meetup. Satsang, a word that means association with the eternal truth. Sat also is a name of God. So association with God, association with the timeless eternal truth. A satsang gathering is an oasis from the madness of the world. Rest for the soul, a sanctuary for the soul. The sole focus of any satsang gathering or meetup is the eternal truth, the truths of the spirit. Before I delve into the main focus of today's podcast, today's satsang podcast, a mystic poem of Sant Tulsi Sahib of, of Hathras, India, a present tense access to the heavens instead of the future access only doctrine of conventional religions. This is where conventional religion and the way of the mystics, part company. One seeks to bring heaven or drag heaven down to earth in the form of some kind of politics or theocracy to bring heaven to earth, to materialize it physically, to bring it to us, to serve us in the physical body, to serve the ego in the body. But the way of the mystics is to go to the true heaven, go to it in spirit and in truth here and now. It's not a matter of prophecies being fulfilled or politics or external goings on here in this world of illusion, land of dreams, samsara, maya, but to uplift, to ascend to the real heavens in the here and now. Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, in this life the concept of salvation all describe. To meet the Lord by dying while living none discloses. They all speak of the goal of salvation after death. How to attain it while living no one says. Were they to reveal the method of achieving release while living, then alone would Tulsi be convinced of their words. Who speaks after seeing with their own eyes and teach the method of salvation during life? They are of the stage and stature of saints, for they reveal the quintessence of the soul. Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, one of the founding gurus of Sant Mat. Note, die while living, death before dying. A popular Sufi and Sant saying used to describe the process of rising above body consciousness and meditation or soul travel. 
a practice that is a kind of preparation or rehearsal for the afterlife or certainly parallels it, doesn't it? Rising above the body, rising above the material world, ascending in spirit through the heavens. Hazrat Sultan Bahu, the Sufi, once said, Let us die before dying, O Bahu. Only then is the Lord attained. Remembrance or Simran of God's name opens a portal to the heavens. Simran is a term used in Sant Mat, the path of the masters, that means remembrance. The spiritual practice of remembering or being mindful of God by repeating his name or names. The opening verse of the Lord's Prayer also it was the prayer of the John the Baptist sect once upon a time. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. A saying of John the Baptist from the Ginza Rabba, the great treasure of Mandaean Gnosis. The apex of humility is to keep mentioning the name of your Lord. Also from the Ginza Rabba, the great treasure, the scriptures of the Mandaeans or Mandaean Gnostics. In the name of the great life, sublime light be praised. Your name is not vain. Your name is eternal, O life, my Lord, and knowledge of the life, gnosis of the life, manda dehei. Manda Dehei, that's a Mandaean Aramaic term that means gnosis of the great life, the supreme being. In their tradition, they call it Heyi Rabi, great life, their name for the supreme being. This is a mystic poem of Sant Tulsi. This is actually a, a poem of Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, where he has something nice to say about his own spiritual master. I did a podcast recently on the podcast side of things, not on the YouTube side of things, but on the podcast side of things. Sant Tulsi Sahib, in praise of his spiritual master, I pay homage in all humility at the feet of my master, whose grace has revealed the mystery of light and sound. To catch those podcasts that go on only in the podcast world that don't show up at YouTube, subscribe to my Apple Podcasts or Spotify or Google Podcasts. Follow the links and you'll get a few more podcasts each week. I usually release a podcast on a Tuesday as well as a Thursday and have been doing the Origins of Sant Mat series, the Ascension of the Soul series, the Yoga of Sound series. Been systematically having a Tuesday class on the foundations of Sant Mat. You'll find links to all of those podcasts all those podcast venues, apps, and so on. Apple, Spotify, Audible. At my website, spiritualawakeningradio.com. A mystic poem of Sant Dadu Dayal. This world is a river, and the name of God is the true boat. Be not slack on this occasion. At this opportunity, says Dadu, repeat the name of God and forget him not. Fulfill the purpose of your birth by practicing concentration. Be steadfast in the remembrance of God. Practice meditation with love or bhakti and sing the glory of God. 
The human body is the door to salvation. Repeat the name of God, the creator of the universe. Died in the color of the Supreme Lord, they have the blameless name as their support. Always truthful, disciplined, blissful, and contented. Their wisdom and reach knows no bounds. In eternal love, in eternal ecstasy, in eternal company with the essential truth, in eternal union, in eternal life, in eternal knowledge and contemplation, they are absorbed. Crown jewel of all, bestower of bliss to all. They are rare in this world. They are the swans, the dwellers of the ocean of bliss. Who come for the good of others, O Dadu. Mystic poem of Sant Dadu Dayal of Rajasthan. On the name of God. And it sounds like he's there also talking about the Sants who come to the world to liberate souls, to impart the mysteries of light and sound to those who are ready, those who are seeking. From the Satsang Discourses of Sri Bhagarath Baba of the Maharishi Mehi Ashram. For the concentration of the awareness, one should take the support of an alphabetical name of God, i.e. one should do Japa or Simran, chanting a holy name or word. This practice is done because the nature of the world is that of names and forms. In his discourse, he also describes the process of visualizing the form of one's Satguru as another meditation technique. Visualizing the form of the Master as well as repeating sacred names of God, making God's name your mantra, pave the way for inner hearing and inner seeing, help transition one from the outer world to the world of within, from the world of names and forms to the inner planes. That transition from the world of form to the formlessness is assisted through the practice of Simran and Dion or visualization of the form of the master and help one reach the inner light and make audible the inner sound, the sound current. Sant Kripal Singh said, Simran is the first step of the spiritual ladder. Meditation practice in Sant Mat or Surat Shabad Yoga begins with Simran. Remembrance of God is the main thing before us to find the way to Him, says Sant Kripal Singh. Also, Sant Kripal Singh, Simran gives pleasure and removes pain. By doing the Simran of the Lord, one merges in Him. By Simran of holy names, we get rid of the thoughts of the world. One feels the presence of God. Simran bestows happiness, peace, and bliss. It leads us to the state of superconsciousness. Sant Kripal Singh. Remembrance or Simran of God's name or names opens a portal to the heavens. The following is from Baba Ram Singh from a satsang discourse titled Simran is the most important step that the masters prescribe. In order to cut our mind's pull outside in the physical world, the masters require us to use a physical help, and that is 
in the form of these holy names which we repeat, because it is only by the physical intrusion that we will be able to get the mind out of its outward pull in this world. So therefore, to get our attention away from everything outside and focused within, it is very important for us to do the repetition of the holy names. That is why the masters keep repeating again and again and encouraging us to do our Simran. Time and again, they tell us that we have to keep on doing our Simran because it is this which is the first step of the ladder to go within. It is only with the help of Simran that we will be able to get the attention of the soul focused again at the eye center. When we do Simran, we focus our attention at the third eye and the entire body becomes numb. And that is when the third eye opens and we are able to go within and realize ourselves. So by doing this Simran, we are able to withdraw our attention from the nine doors of the senses and go to the tenth door. It is only by Simran that we will be able to achieve all this. And that is why more importance is given for doing Simran rather than listening to the sound current initially." Unquote. Baba Ram Singh also says, one of the proofs that our Simran is being done correctly is that in any kind of any kind of difficulty we first remember Simran in this path of Santma this path of the masters or Radha Swami Simran is done at the beginning of meditation when we sit for doing our meditation practice but Simran is also done independently of meditation, is a kind of mini meditation on the go throughout the day and evening, whenever we have the chance to focus, a free moment to focus, we do the repetition of the name or names of God as a way to spiritualize the day, to remember the rest of the time when we're not in meditation. Meditation affects a certain amount of time, takes a certain amount of time, but what goes on between meditations, right? We need some spiritual practice to make more positive, to be protection, a divine shield or divine presence to constantly be with us. And that's the function of Simran. Throughout the day, as often as we can, we repeat the sacred names that we were given at the time of initiation as a way to remember all of the time, to spiritualize the day so that what goes on between meditations is also as positive as we can make it, dwelling in the protective, positive power. Baba Somanath a successor of Huzur Baba Sawan Singh and the guru of Baba Ram Singh. Baba Somanath says, always remain tranquil. Weigh your heart in the scales, making sure you do not tip in one direction or the other. Maintain your longing for the name of the Lord and do his devotion unceasingly never go away from him, constantly go on doing his devotion.
remembrance, Simran of God's name opens a portal to the heavens. Today on this Sant Mat Satsang podcast edition of Spiritual Awakening Radio, my name is James Bean. My email address is james at spiritualawakeningradio.com. The website is spiritualawakeningradio.com. Follow at YouTube, follow at the podcast sites to catch all of the programs being offered each week. Wrapping up today's program, Mystic Verses of Sant Nam Dev. Always be in communion with the Lord and enjoy true contentment. This is the state of ineffable serenity. There is no peace except in the name of the Lord. Meditate on it with one-pointed attention. Experience the state of superconsciousness where the Lord's love surges and you will see your own form in each particle of creation. O Nama, the Lord will make the pupil of your eye his home and your eye will expand to contain the entire universe. Thank you.